What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's video we'll be taking a look at Nightfalls and the recent effect the 2.0.1.2 hotfix has had on them. Now let's remind ourselves of what Nightfalls originally were. Uh, they were a weekly event which everyone rushed to do to gain that XP boost for the rest of the week. Nightfalls back in the day were a lot harder for the simple fact that you had to start the whole thing again if your whole fire team died. There were no checkpoints whatsoever. Up on completion, you wasn't always rewarded what you want, but at this stage in the game, attack and defense values, which determines your overall level, were not the case. Plus, legendary weapons that dropped could be rerolled to get that perfect roll. You also, like I said, received an XP boost for the entire week and you also got a flaming head. Fuck, I miss everybody's head on fire. Now since the Taken King's major patch, a lot of things have changed with Nightfalls. They took away the flaming head and the XP boosts and added checkpoints and rewards obtainable which were not acceptable as a Nightfall reward and for that of what us year 1 players had come to expect. And when gear actually determines your overall light score or level, Nightfalls quickly became pointless to anyone who had run the raid. Exotics dropped rarely and if they did, most of the time they were at a attack or defence value which were useless to the player. You could receive a rune as your reward which is really disappointing or even three of coins and not even that many of them like five or whatever now many people including me kicked up a fuss about nightfalls being a complete waste of time and something needed to be done about it and it seems as though after all the bitching it paid off and with the recent hotfix changes have been made so let's go through them. Now they have increased the base level of Nightfall Legendary Rewards by 10 attack or defense, increased the chance of Legendary Rewards by 10% from 50% to 60%, increased the number of Strange Coins or 3 of Coins rewarded, Ghosts have now been added to the Legendary Reward Loot table, Legendary Engrams no longer drop from the Nightfall Strike boss but they will continue to drop their unique Legendary items, and removed antiquated runes from the loot tables. So it seems as though they are on the right track. Now if you guys watch my weekly loot rewards, you guys know I have been complaining a lot about the loot rewarded from Nightfalls. Let's go through what I got this week. Okay, on my Hunter I got legendary boots with a defense value of 305, which straight away is an improvement. From 385 defense value armors I'd normally get before the hotfix, to a 305, not bad whatsoever. On my Titan, I got a heavy weapon with an attack value of 309, which really surprised me and actually helped me get my main character being my Hunter to a light level 309. On my Warlock, I got a 293 defense value helmet, which to be honest is fine, as yes, all through this sucks and ain't really needed. Sure, Nightfalls can reward you with a lot of shit you want, but sometimes, you do get let down. This for sure always has been the case, except before the hotfix, it was rewards like this every week on all three of my characters. Now I put out a tweet the other day asking people to send in screenshots of their Nightfall loot rewards since this hotfix, so let's take a look. Straight away, the majority of them, people got loot which they actually needed and was a massive improvement over pre-hotfix loot. Although not everyone was happy, it's still a giant leap forward in terms of rewards that actually are useful. Now all we need are them flaming heads back. But guys, let me know your loot rewards from this past week down below in that comment section and tell me if you've seen an improvement or not in rewards. Me personally, I have. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. Subscribe for Daily Destiny and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! We all on YouTube every damn day, watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many of y'all the same, that's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Just need gameplays, weekly snipes, heavy uploads, gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.